A few months ago, I released a review of this speaker, the Mackie Thrash 215. And just recently, I did a video on this speaker, the Mackie Thump 212 XT. Both are more affordable offerings from Mackie, and when someone's going out to purchase their first sound system, they're gonna wanna know the difference between the two and whether or not they should spend the extra money. In this video today, I'm gonna give you a comparison of both of these speaker lines, let you know what I think about the differences in looks, in specs, in weight, in features, and whether or not I think it's worth spending the extra money for the thump as compared to the thrash. Now, if you're new here, my name is Jordan. This is the Phage Reviews YouTube channel. If you're a subscriber, welcome back. And if you are new here, thank you for joining us. Like I said, we're gonna talk about all the different aspects of both of these speakers, but before we dive into it, make sure that you like this video, leave a comment if you've used either either of these or you have another favorite budget speaker and subscribe if you're not already with ringing the notification bell to help the channel get that extra boost. But we won't waste much time with that. Let's dive in to the comparison. Like I mentioned before, both of these are more affordable budget offerings from Mackie. Great for someone's first sound system or if you're a more experienced user as a backup option. Really good value for the price in both of these speakers. Now, first things first, I did want to mention that the Thrash is a 15 inch speaker and the Thump is a 12 it's just what I've got, but the specs that I've printed out to compare are for two 12-inch models. That way it's not an unfair comparison. The first thing I wanted to compare on is the looks. Both of these speakers from Aki have a nice, modern, full grill, good lines, symmetrical, all of the features that I personally like to see in a speaker. Neither of these would look out of place at any sort of event. Now there is a few key differences. Actually, I'll turn these to the side once again. This is the thump, this is the thrash. The thump uh, has some more sharply defined lines. It looks like a new Kia or something. Uh, really angular, uh, really kind of mean looking. The Thrash has some more rounded lines on it. And one thing that stands out immediately on the Thrash are these green handles. Now, I think their tagline for these speakers was like made to rock. Mackie has green accents on all their products. Um, these are a little bit standouty to me. I think that the all black look of the thump is a little cleaner, but that's just, it's worth knowing noting. Uh, the, the other difference to the appearance of the product is the location of the Running Man logo. The Thump has it in the middle, the Thrash has it at the bottom. I'm not partial either way. I kind of like this line in the middle of the Thump. I think it looks good, but also having the logo, I guess, more discreet at the bottom is not a bad thing either. Uh, one other thing to note when it comes to the cabinet and the, the appearance is the handle size. The handles on the Thrash are a little bit bigger than on the Thump. I think these are actually easier to grip. The smaller handles, you can get your hand all the way around and because this is a lighter speaker you can lift it up on a stand pretty easy not that the thumps uh you know you can't use but or the thrash excuse me not that the thrash you can't use they're just a little bit bigger now uh on the top and the bottom of the thrash is a handle whereas on the thump you only have this kind of cutout up here so that is handy to have two handles like that uh, especially with a 15 inch model but regardless, I think they both have plenty of good options for picking the speaker up. Now, speaking of picking the speaker up, the thump uh, compared to the 12 inch thrash, not the 15, the thump is still smaller in every dimension except for depth. And even on depth, it's only deeper by a tiny little bit, very slight difference. More importantly though, the thump uh, as compared to the 12 inch thrash is nine, almost nine pounds lighter than the Thrash. So that's significant, 27.6 pounds for the Thump as opposed to 36.4 for the Thrash. So much easier for pretty much any person of any size to pick this up and throw it on a speaker stand. Moving on from the weight and the appearance of the speakers, we'll go to the internal specs. Both have a 12 inch woofer, both have a one inch compression driver, and on the back they both have two combo quarter inch XLR inputs. Now the Thump adds a 1 8 inch or 3.5 mil headphone jack for your aux input. When it comes to watts, the Thump has 100 additional watts at 1400 compared to 1300 on the Thrash. Really watts aren't gonna matter that much to sound, but what does is SPL, and the Thump 12 inch version has 128 dB, which is three dB more than the Thrash's 125. So that's a noticeable, perceivable difference, so you are gonna get a little bit more power in the Thump. When it comes to frequency response, the Thrash 12 inch version digs down to 52 hertz, while the Thump goes a little deeper to 
47 hertz. So not only are you getting more power, but you're getting more low end extension as well, which is always handy. Now the new Thump 212s also include great features like the feedback elimination and ducking, something that you don't have in the Thrash. So you're getting more options for usability in the Thump as opposed to the Thrash. So I'm not a big fan of music demos on this channel, but I do them anyway because people on YouTube ask for them. Just keep in mind that it's better to audition these in person. By the time the audio comes through my microphone, my editing software uploaded and compressed by YouTube and comes out your ear, but it's not going to be the exact same. Using these though, I just, I love the sound of the thump. It's a sound that I'm familiar with from having used them in the past. The thrash is not bad. It's pretty mid uh, and high heavy, but I think that's kind of what they're going for with this rock sound. I think the thump in my mind is a little bit clearer. It's got the, uh, the new wave guide that's taken from their flagship SRM series. And overall, it's just a smoother sound. They lowered the crossover point, like I mentioned in my thump review. And all around, I, I think the sound is a little bit cleaner than the thrash. But I'll play a little demo for you. Take it with a grain of salt. We'll A, B the two so you can hear them both. All right, so we're gonna do our sound demo. We've got our thump on the right and our thrash on the left. Now, keep in mind, one other big flaw of this sound test is the fact that we've got a 12 inch and a 15 inch. So really low end, I don't know if we're gonna be able to compare that much. I just have the thump in the music mode, so the direct sound as much as possible. But still, I think going for more overall clarity, mid and highs is probably more important in these two than the low end just because of the size difference. But this whole freaking sound test was flawed anyway. But you guys want it, so here we go. <laughs> We've got the thump up first. Alright, so now we're going to switch over to the thrash on the left. Important to note, I've got both speakers at Unity for these tests. I'm not adjusting the volume on my input device or on the speakers themselves. Everything is just going to come across straight as it's going in. So we'll do the same tracks for the thrash. <laughs> So what does this all add up to? Well, honestly, I think if you've got the extra money, I would spend it on the thump. That little extra increase in cost is gonna give you cleaner looks, a weight reduction, an aux input, so additional flexibility if something goes down, uh, handy features like feedback elimination and ducking, and most importantly, a noticeable bump in the power and low end frequency extension. So. You know, this in my mind is not that much more, but it offers a lot more features for the dollar. Now, I'm happy that the Thrash exists, and I still think it's a great speaker. I remember when I bought my first powered speakers over 10 years ago, uh, I spent similar to what one of these costs, and it was much uglier and sounded much worse and didn't go nearly as loud. Now, technology has advanced, obviously, but I still think someone starting out, you know, I got gigs with those first speakers, and they weren't that good. So someone could easily get gigs with this, and it, it looks great, it sounds fantastic for the money, and I don't think 
anyone would, would judge you for using this, especially, you know, when you're a beginner. Or if, you know, you've got one of these in your car, if your main system goes down, whip this baby out. It's gonna look good and sound good. So what do you think? Have you used one of these speakers or both? Which do you prefer? Is it worth the extra money for the thump? Let me know down in the comments. If you haven't seen my full review of either of these speakers, I'll make sure to link them so that you can see them. And as always, if you're not, consider becoming a subscriber. Like I mentioned at the beginning, it helps the channel grow. I would of course love you for it. Leave a comment, ring the notification bell, like the video. But until next time, thank you so much for watching.